A pylonidal sinus is an infected tract containing hair shafts, and hair shafts may be present deep in the skin. Pylonidal sinuses occur three to four times more frequently in men than women. In fact, they are most common in white men, particularly those with dark, straight hair. Other risk factors include obesity, sitting for long periods. In fact, during the Second World War, Jeep drivers were particularly badly afflicted with pylonidal sinuses because they were sitting so for such long periods in their jeeps, hence the term jeep driver's disease. Other risk factors include skin injury, a family history and poor hygiene. The typical site for a pylonidal sinus is in the intergluteal folds between the buttocks, that is the uh, upper part of the buttock, up to 5 centimetres behind the anus. In other words, in the natal cleft up to the coccyx. They can, however, occur at other sites where hair shafts might drive into the skin, for example the axillae, umbilicus, clitoris and scrotum. They can also occur between the fingers, particularly of hairdressers, and also dog groomers and sheep shearers. Signs and symptoms of a pylonidal sinus include a dimple in the skin and hair shafts may protrude from the dimple, reddened skin, a painful swelling and there may be a purulent discharge. Histologically, a pylonidal sinus has a tract lined by epidermis and within this there may be hair shafts or hair shafts may be embedded in the underlying dermis. But in about 25% of cases, hair shafts may not be found. Other features seen include a foreign body granulomatous response to the hair shafts, granulation tissue formation and abscess formation. Complications of a pylonidal sinus include abscess formation that could lead to sepsis and squamous cell carcinoma may rarely occur. This is a very low power view of a pylonidal sinus. The sinus lined by epidermis is at the top of the picture and as we move deep into the dermis there are a number of hair shafts embedded within the deep dermis. Here is a higher power view of the hair shafts in the deep dermis, surrounded by a chronic inflammatory infiltrate. Here is a granuloma containing foreign body type giant cells but no hair shafts. This is a hair shaft that is surrounded by foreign body type giant cells and a chronic inflammatory infiltrate. And here is an area of abscess formation.